So before Argos Anonymous mysteriously disappeared, now when he disappeared, he was still selling Hello Kitty Meta Zoo on eBay. I still believe he has a Discord channel because occasionally those people still don't like me very much and I see their comments or their videos about me. It's uh, very sad, right? But at the end of the day, it is what it is, right? I mean, we put ourselves online. Argos has put himself online, so I feel confident enough to make this video about him. The reason that he was going to take a break was he wanted to make a cafe. It was supposed to be a cafe that served food and it would also carry Meta Zoo. Meta Zoo is a crazy, crazy thing, guys. It is bonkers um, what happened to Meta Zoo. It went from $820 a box, or if you bought the five box pack, you would pay $1,640 a booster box. And this isn't even the uh, Kickstarter edition. This is the second version of it, the Nightfall edition. First edition, but I don't think there was ever an unlimited run of Nightfall. So everything, when everything is first edition, nothing is first edition, by the way. Just so you guys understand that. And uh, the dude went all in on MetaZoo. Uh, he wasn't the only one. There were other people, but I don't think anyone's done it to the extent that he did it. Now, you might argue Alpha Investment, but my argument would be Alpha Investment losing a million dollars when he probably made 10. Uh, he had his own promos. I mean, his promo cards are still the most expensive cards in MetaZoo in terms of a mass-printed, non-serialized card. And he's uh, and he's made a million dollars plus in just selling the Rudy Gem Keeper promo for Flesh and Blood. So the guy's doing really well. I don't have any doubt in my mind that Alpha Investment has made a ton of money off MetaZoo uh, long term. I do have my doubts if uh, Argos Anonymous did. In Argos Anonymous, he fought tooth and nail. He fought to the very bitter end defending MetaZoo. Defending, you know, the closure announcement. I remember one video before it was announced it was closing. He, it was like negative positivity and so on. And he just didn't kind of understand that it was closing. Like, he didn't really understand how bad things were. Like, I'm an outsider looking in. I can tell the players are not getting paid. The pre-orders are not getting fulfilled. Yet, they're doing more pre-orders. These are, like, incredibly alarming warning signs, right? And that's why in the bankruptcy court now, it's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pages of people who pre-ordered who didn't receive anything. Now they received a letter saying, oh, thanks for pre-ordering, but we ain't going to fulfill your stuff, man. I mean, that's got to hurt a lot. Um, and in terms of why it hurt so much, it, it should be obvious because they thought this was an investment. They thought this was going to do really well. And MetaZoo, for all it, it did, I mean, it did things. It's just that it was overhyped. It was really, really overhyped. And... MetaZoo game shut down. Why MetaZoo failed and why most TCGs fail. MetaZoo document leaked. One million dollar MetaZoo lost. Uh, this is one of the only videos that uh, he's kept up. Uh, most of the other videos have been taken down, which were positive about MetaZoo. And the one thing we can learn about MetaZoo is like you cannot play. You can get absolutely wrecked if you play in this field and you don't have the correct capital. And that's what you learn. Like, there are people who got MF destroyed investing in MetaZoo. And they invested money they didn't have. They took credit cards. They took... Argos Anonymous does not strike me as an independently wealthy individual. Uh, he's shown off some of his magic collection. It's nothing compared to my magic collection. And in terms of money and stuff, I own, I own two businesses, a law firm and a marketing agency that is automated and marketing is hot right now it's super hot right now politics right you gotta think about this like and and i and this we had a serious conversation just now with me and my significant other right we're having a child in the next two weeks uh it may be sooner than two weeks but two weeks is the expected time and you know, maybe I shouldn't be buying. We shouldn't be buying all these Weiss booster boxes and cases to open. And I, I definitely 
stopped doing whatnot. I'm not spending a dime on whatnot. I just deleted my whatnot account. I am probably going to delete my eBay account because I've just been buying a shit ton of things I don't need, right? Even I bought, and, and it got really bad because I bought something from Australia. And I didn't even realize it was from mother effing Australia. So I was like, wait, what is this? <laughs> and I, you know, just put in a random bid and I didn't think it would win and it won. And I was like, oh shit, the shipping was $26, like US dollars. And it was like 40 Australian dollars. I was like, oh, God damn it. I didn't see that part. But if you don't have the money to play in this, don't play in it because it's a very, very high risk and very low reward. I mean, let's say the Hello Kitty boxes, right? What was he selling them for? $100 a box? Maybe a little bit more? I mean, yeah, it, it kind of sucks when the $300 two-box pack is now $150 for the two-box pack, right? Can't really sell it $100 if you can buy two of them for $150 or $75 a piece. Have a really nice display case and also have the promo cards. They've absolutely destroyed his Hello Kitty set. Unless Argos Anonymous got out of it really fast, which he didn't because after the closure announcement, he was still selling them on eBay. He got wrecked on Hello Kitty. Like when I mean wrecked, I mean absolutely obliterated in that set. Because the set literally before it was even released on eBay, <laughs> they cut it by half. They cut the price of these the, the set by half, literally by half. And anyone who purchased, and I made a video about that, anyone who purchased it at $100 is now feeling they got ripped off. And anyone who's not purchased it is not going to ever purchase it at $100 anymore. So unless he bought it at less than $75, even at $75 or shippings of it, it's hard to break even on these boxes. MetaZoo was a catastrophe for any store or any person like Argos was a independent seller. It was a mother effing nightmare. It was a nightmare on just such large proportions. Like, I know what it is because I've owned a store myself. People think, oh, I got a box or two and I lost money. No, no, no. Stores got whole cases, whole ha pallets of this stuff. And that's what Argos was. He got, he got, got, he held the bag. He held a bag and, and the bag was on fire and then there was nowhere to throw the bag and not take a massive loss. And you have dead inventory and or inventory you have to discount sell for less money than you buy. That's always the worst feeling. It's not just meta. Sometimes it happens in magic sets too. Crimson Vow, Midnight Hunt. Those things, Kaldeheim. Those things are never going to be worth the money that you paid even at distribution price. They're simply not. They're terrible sets, and there's very little volume on any of it. So here you got eight counts, at, you know, and it gets lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. I feel bad for the dude, but let it be a warning to you guys. You know, don't go all in on a new card game. Don't. 